what's up everyone i got some lights on the camera so i'm probably going to be blown out which nobody cares about but we're going to have at least be able to see the the black wheels a little bit better so we'll, we're going to test some some techniques and using some lights and 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 see how that goes i can see the tires scrubbing here i probably need to get an alignment on this thing so the tahoe i'm going to wash the tahoe today i haven't washed it in a long time uh you guys I wonder how uh, how tired everybody's getting of uh, me washing cars, but uh, the good news is the Tahoe has only been washed on video maybe once or twice. So, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna you know, do the Tahoe and, and take it through normal normal C quartz. Uh, this has C quartz on it, uh, so just C quartz maintenance. Uh, this thing probably needs a little touch up to it, uh, so I'll probably be doing a. Uh, I should keep my mouth shut on this because everybody beats me up uh, about making the videos, but uh, Essence 2, uh, which is to touch up the C quartz and um, you know, maybe add another layer of protection on it. I'll be doing that to this at some point in the future. So um, I'm going to have to eat, as apparently I eat, I need to stop making declarations <laughs> because I'm about to eat another, uh, another one of the things that I said I would never have. Uh, so I get home, what was it, uh, I guess it was probably Wednesday, and I'm just I'm kind of stressed out. I'm trying to figure out international shipping and customs and doing that properly. And, and, and then, of course, I have you know, a wealth management business, so I have current clients and lots of new future clients from, from this, this Obsessed Garage thing, which is so freaking cool, man. I mean, everything is just cool. Um, you know, other than the occasional, uh, you know, people that, that may say and, and, uh, and give me a hard time about, um, about, uh, monetizing or, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, pitching products and things like that. Well, whatever, I'm, I'm going to do it my way and hopefully some people will like it. But anyway, I'm kind of just, kinda, you know, I, I have a hard time enjoying the moment and being a part of it. I'm always thinking ahead. I mean, I guess that's part of what makes me, makes me, me. So I get home and uh, I forget what I was doing, but um, Michelle's like, yeah, my seatbelt, it's like the weirdest thing. My seatbelt is, is cut. And I'm like, oh, shoot, Even this freaking seatbelt is cut. How the heck does that happen? So, so I was like, well, just make an appointment, take it in for a warranty. And so I, you know, I can't let it go. So I go out and I look and I open up the car and I see, um, I see the seatbelt's kind of, kind of cut. You know, it's frayed, almost like it's catching on. It's the really, really far rear seatbelt on this thing, uh, and and it's, you know, it's, it's almost like it's been catching on the edge of the plastic. But I'm like, this thing's, these things have been around a long time. I mean, you think, you know, I think Chevy's gotten this figured out. Uh, and and so I you know I pulled the headliner back a little bit the little the little plastic piece in, piece in the back, and I noticed that the the seat belt like that it, it didn't look like there, there was the, sort of the fraying of the seat belt like par portions of it but it it was sitting like behind so the, the belt is here it was sitting like back here, and you guys know where this is going right, um, and so I start looking at the seat belt, and then I look up at the at the plastic around the seat belt. And they're freaking teeth marks. You guys, I, I, I literally stood there. <laughs> I wish I had camera on for this kind of stuff. You guys would love it. Um, but I think I probably stood there. And I, I felt that anxious rush come over me. You know, where I feel like I'm going to freaking pass out. And I'm ready to just start freaking punching through the, you know, through the fender of the car. And Michelle's just sitting there looking at me. And she's like, are you going to be all right? And I just, I just, the freaking squirrel or mouse or rat or whatever the heck is in this thing too. So um, we, uh, I think we're getting at least two cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so all you guys that i dismissed i apologize for saying i'm not getting freaking cats are you stupid so i'm getting a couple of cats outdoor cats i know they're going to sit on my car but you know you weigh the pros and cons here of animals you know these rodents killing your vehicles versus and by the way michelle's tall has never been parked out here it's always parked next to the house so I'm hoping, you know, cats, I'm going to get some, you know, spray the perimeter of where the cars park with that barrier stuff that I bought that I sprayed around here. I, <laughs> I'm going to maybe buy a couple of cases of Irish Spring and start throwing it around all 
<laughs> the place, I don't know. Fox urine, I'm, I'm doing it all. All of it's going to be done. So anyway, I thought you guys would get a kick out of the fact that um, I'm about to have a freaking mental breakdown because of the freaking rodents at my, you know, my in my house in the woods. I mean, I guess you don't really have a choice when you're, you're in a wooded area like this, wooded lot. It kind of comes with the territory, you know, being in Florida when it gets cold and they're looking for a place to go. But my gosh, man, it's like, I still don't have my GT3 back. The freaking harness is MIA. You know, they don't, they don't make a harness. Like they don't stock, I don't stock the harness. They have to make the harness and the harness is this massive umbilical cord of wires. And so they have to order it from somewhere and you know, it comes from, you know, in Germany. And then it's, so the, so the German supplier has to make it and then it goes to Porsche and then Porsche sends it to us. And so I don't freaking know. I just hope I have it back in time for the GT3 trip. I don't have any news on the on a, an allocation or anything, so I'm kind of kind of just in limbo, you know, doing my thing. So um, I've been making all these different product specific videos, which I know are somewhat boring, and and you know people are calling it a money grab. I know many aren't, but a few are. Um, but to be honest with you, it's just a way for me to kind of stay, let my car go and not worry about it, and just kind of focus on something. But Anyway, the, the naysayers can suck it because there are hundreds of orders of stuff, which is incredible, just incredible. Uh, and I think that I think the vast majority of people, once you you know, once you see what what I'm creating, what what I'm going to put together in a source for these different obscure products, um, yeah, I'm going to make some freaking money off it. Otherwise, I wouldn't do all this. I wouldn't make as many videos now. Um, you know, I, I just I just can't justify doing this forever. Uh, now I can. Now I'm like chasing it. So I'm going to make freaking video crazy uh, because I can justify it because there's an actual business that's attached to that. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to represent things um, um, that I don't believe in. I don't need to. So that's the luxury I have. And, and so all the information that you're going to get from me is very, is, is still uh, very unbiased. I mean, I don't, I don't have any need to, I have a good job. Um, I have nice cars. I have all the stuff that I, you know, maybe not all the stuff, but some of the, most of the stuff that I want to have this great life. Um, I'm not going to mess that up by, by going out and pitching crappy stuff. What I am going to do is I'm going to put together things that um, really don't, aren't already represented that I think could be represented better. Uh, and so I'm going to continue to do that. So anyway, let's wash the Tahoe. Uh, I'm going to do a fresh coat of Hydro 2 on this thing. Um, so I, I'm going to, you know, again, main, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this next to the wheel was to test the lighting and see if we get a little bit better footage here. Um, but I'm going to clean up the wheels and, uh, and, and take you through that. So this is uh, one Z Eins at ColorTech. On these wheels, I don't really find the need to let it sit. I just put it on and start working. With my Griot's lambskin mitt. The only problem with the lambskin mitt is you have to get it warmed up. Because I think it's actual, it'll cut off the body of a lamb, you know, it hardens. This is a uh, RDP wheel cleaning brush. The thing I don't like about these is after they get wet, after the initial use, then they get matted. Like I wish they could figure out a way to keep it so that it doesn't get all matted up, like that it retained its body or fluffiness. But they're the first ones. The wheel woolies for me have never been as useful. Maybe on this car it would be fine, but on my cars, they're just too big and bulky, they won't fit. So I called the US representatives for my pressure washer. And I realized, you know, because I've, you, know, you guys have bought so many of them from me, so I've kind of become a, a player in the pressure washer game, I guess, just because you guys have have bought all this stuff from me. And I'm sure there are many, many more that are going to that are, you know, just getting there. So 
I've been pronouncing it wrong all these years. <laughs> yeah, for, and, and the interesting thing, and this is my argument for these you know, great companies that make these great products, is that for all these years, no, not one person has ever corrected me. And people love to correct me for some reason. Even though I don't really correct others, I, I just kind of tell you what's going on in my life. People love to correct me. So this is how I know that the information is just not out there. The pressure washer, how, you know, I've been pronouncing it Kranzel, K-R-A-N-Z-L-E, forever, probably 10 years since I first learned about them. Well, it's German. And I always assumed, like, on the box, there's a, you know, there's a, a line above the A, you know, for, you know, implying it'd be a long A. But it's really not a line, it's two dots, you know, it's an umla, which is, you know, real common in, you know, Scandinavia and German dialects, you know, these, you know, European, Northern European dialects. And so I, I, I for, you know, I've always assumed that maybe, that, that certainly has something to do with the pronunciation. And so when I was talking to, uh, talking to Jeff at, 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 we'll say the pressure washing company at Kranzel, I asked him, I said, hey, how do I pronounce this? And he's like, ah, it doesn't matter. People pronounce it all different ways. And, I said, no, 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 I, I want to know how to pronounce it. You know, like, like Rupes, Rupes. You know, many called it Rupes and people would, would, would correct me on YouTube saying, you're saying it wrong, it's Rupes. I said, no, 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 I think it's Rupes. And that's the Italian version, but it's, you know, it's Rupes. Rupes is what the, you know, like Jason Rose and Dylan Von Kleis and the, you know, the guys who represent Rupus, you know, say we should pronounce it. But anyway, it's not Kranzel, it's Krenzla. Krenzla. Because of the umlau, which has an N, like a, um, like a, like a sort of, not a long E, not a, not a, but a, but an E, like an eh, Kren, Krenzla. And so the Krenzla family, I mean, that's how they pronounce their name. And so here's a really, really cool thing. I think I'm actually, as much as I hate traveling, I think I'm gonna go to Germany and visit, visit the facility and I will learn everything there is to learn about friend stuff, pressure washers. Oh, I'm super pumped about that. Not about the travel, because if you guys don't know this about me, I can't, I have all these afflictions, apparently. I can't, um, I can't read or do anything on a plane. I just sit there like a frickin' bump on a lawn. Um, and so, I hate traveling because of, because of that. And so now Michelle's giving me a hard time saying, you didn't take me to Europe. You said you'd never go to Europe. <laughs> so, I don't know. So I, I might be going to visit the, um, the factory and learn everything there is to know about my so admired, you know, pressure washing company. So now instead of saying Kranzel, uh, we're going we're gonna to change the, change the world, change the way it's pronounced. It's Krenzla, Krenzla. So our Krenzla pressure washers will be, um, we're going to be changing how people say that. Just our little crew of, of people. Then again, there aren't that many people who even know about know about it or care about it. We seem to be the only ones that do. Notice I don't have a swivel, so I have my SG28 and there's no swivel and this sucker's on tight. There's a swivel up top. I, I still have a Mosmatic swivel. I, I just want to, I don't want to keep taking these things off. Um, so I'm waiting for my, my new Mosmatic um, gun to come. So even I don't have one, so nobody has one. There's only, there's only four people in the world that have one or four people in the US that have one. and. Uh, thank you guys for buying it from me. Um, you guys know who you are. Um, you guys have the complete package. Nobody else does. Not even I do. So um, I even sold my, my personal one to, to a gentleman, uh, Derek, who, who wanted it so badly. 
So he's uh, he's got my my personal you know version of it, and so I'm you know waiting on the the package to come. So let's do some uh, let's do some some Hydro Two on this real quickly, and we'll we'll spray that off, and then this wheel's done. So like we should do with all chemicals. Stole that from Larry Cosella. It's chemicals, so you need to shake them. I think it even says shake then spray. So this is again Carpro Hydro 2. I never coated these wheels, so the only thing that's ever been on them is Hydro 2 and Reload. Or Reload then Hydro 2. Which this is a silicon dioxide spray sealant. You put it on, spray it off. By the way, if this is your first video, those of you guys have been around for a while, have watched me do this a thousand times, Tough Shine Tire Brush, it's a $3 tire brush, and then um, this is Adam's rubber, uh, tired rubber cleaner. I, uh, I've, I've bagged the, uh, the, bottle, um, the bottle escapade where I was gonna create bottles. They're just, unless I have them manufactured, I don't even know, I don't have time to do that right now. I may do it someday. Um, I would say stick with whatever bottles you like, or I'm just gonna stick with using the manufacturer's bottles. Um, but I gotta, once I go through this, I'll get a new, I'll get, put it back in the Adams bottle. But this stuff is, these, these, these bottles don't work with some, I haven't, you know, I haven't had issues with, uh, with like this, you know, less caustic rubber and tire cleaner. Um, but I did have some stuff eat through these bottles. You really need the, the PET plastic, the, the non-clear stuff. Um, the HP, DE, I, I forget which one's which. My biggest issue is sprayers. There just isn't any sprayer that I'm like super excited about. So uh, I've, I've shelved the, the bottles for maybe someday when I just have too much time on my hands where I'll, as I make more, more relationships with different manufacturers, maybe I'll, I'll come up with a, a solution on my own. But uh, as of right now, there isn't a sprayer on the market that I like. I, I bought them, all the ones that everybody recommended. These are Tolson sprayers, I just don't, I don't like them, or Tolco or something like the Tolco sprayers. I don't like these either. So I don't, I don't like the Mercury, the, the Quasar, Quasar Mercuries, I don't like those. Um, I guess I'm just a sprayer snob. The Griot ones are probably my favorite, um, but even those aren't, aren't perfect. So I'm gonna go around and do the other wheels and um, come back to you and we'll, we'll work on the, on the tires. Uh, and, uh, or I'm sorry, work on the, the body of the, the, the paint and the trim and stuff like that in a minute. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. The floor. The floor. 